immediate thoughts slash takeaways uh, from UFC San Antonio and also um, how'd your bets go? Um, so I had some hits and misses in terms of the betting side of things. I think the card was incredible. I've been enjoying having the fight nights back in a crowd. It's just that energy. I missed it so much. I, I really enjoyed the apex for a short amount of time. Well, we could hear the corners and we could hear every strike. It was interesting while it lasted, but I'm ready to be back in the crowd. So that was good. Corey Sanhagen, he looked incredible on Saturday night. I think that he really proved himself as a contender. He continues to improve every time he comes out. So I enjoyed that. I, I know Cheeto will be back. Um, Nate the Train, he's always fun to watch. As for betting, um, I hit one really good bet, Duraev on points, um, Sanhagen and Marlin to go the distance. I believe Holly Holm money line and another one in there too. That was a good one. It made up for all my bad bets in 2022. So we're back on the up and up doing well. It was a great card. Um, yeah, I can't really say much more about it, but I'm happy to be back in a crowd and it was a good one. No, the vibes are awesome. I did pick Corey to win and it played out honestly exactly how I called it. So like I'm patting myself on the back, but it's not to say that As like, I, I, I don't, like I, I don't dislike Marlon Vera, and I also I do want to see the rematch with him and O'Malley down the road. But like Corey Absolutely. Sanhagen is just so good. He's literally Dominic Cruz 2.0, except he trains with Muay Thai guys. And I saw yeah. the picture of him with Superlek, like with the freaking kicking machine. So like I know mm -hmm. he's been training Muay Thai, and I just love his whole like philosophy. Like his, his interview today with uh, Helwani, and you know, we're, we're recording this on Monday uh, this week. Like he's just so philosophical, but he's like new age, like. Like uh, put it this way, like Dominic Cruz, he's not like hanging out at like a coffee shop, like spitting his thoughts. He's All like right. very much like reading books. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're <laughs> Sanhagen. He's like one of us. He's like our generation, absolutely. you know, philosopher. And I absolutely love how he just brings the violence to the cage as well. It was good to see Holly Holm it. win in yeah. dominant fashion as well. Yeah. First submission in the UFC, if I'm not mistaken. So that was Crazy. awesome to see. Still evolving at 41. I love to see it. Absolutely. Other than that, like the only other really like standout and I, that I want to highlight anyways here, and, and I feel like the early prelims, the first few fights, they never get the love that they deserve, especially from Dana, because like half the yeah. time I see some of the like the craziest fights in like the early prelims, and like he admittedly like doesn't even watch those, and those are way more deserving of fight of the night bonuses. But uh, the Victor Altamirano and uh, Vinicius Salvador, like yes. it may not have been the most technical fight but it was it brought the wild heat. yeah that was honestly i think my biggest stand on the card and it was the first fight so i was like let's freaking go i'm all for it as you said it wasn't as technical as some of the fights on that card but it was just fun all the way throughout so that was a good one as well good shout that's what you love about these sleepy like sleeper cards you don't, you don't know what's going to hit you especially like on right. the early prelims yeah absolutely